Hi there guys, my name is Matt and today I'm going to talk about how to get around the issue of cutting through your cell effects and threading um, electrical cables through them because um, this can downrate the um, thermal insulation itself and disrupt the vapor control layer, allow moisture to collect in the areas and possibly cause a fire risk if you've got lighting and stuff in there. Um, in this particular case, um, I've we're not, I'm not using down lighting, so I don't think need much space, but I've, I've used a very thin um, batten that I've just gotten from a local uh, wood store. And it's very cheap. This is something like 45p per meter. So the whole roof ended up being really like 60 pounds for creating this service gap. Um, but if you're adding like down lights and things like that, you can make this a lot deeper and do something like a false ceiling or a stud ceiling. Um, but I didn't think that was a particularly appropriate name for this video because it's not really a false ceiling. It's just dropping the ceiling very, very slightly to allow the cables to go through. So what I've done is instead of slicing through, because what I've in my installation setup that I've got here, I've got between the joists, I've got uh, 120 mil of insulation which butts up right up to the bottom of the joist and then I've got another 50 mil below because we've got a cold roof flat roof construction here so we needed air to pass over the top of the insulation in that in that area above uh, from the front to the back of the roof to allow um, moisture to be blown out and to keep it nice and dry throughout the, the year so we had to put the insulation closer to the bottom um, and also uh, in some cases it makes it cheaper because you can use instead of doing just between the joists sometimes just between the joists you have to use a lot thicker insulation in our case it would have been 220 mil insulation which is so expensive so what I've done instead is I've used 120 and 50 mil below the joists, the joists and it's ended up being a lot cheaper but I've come across this issue which is um, how do you put the cable in so this is my solution um, I threaded the cable through um, these buttons and then these buttons screw straight through into the um, the joists above and uh, when I was screwing all of the insulation in just so you know where the positions of them are uh, I could find out pretty easily where the joists were so I screwed straight through with my um, I had like big washers and screws that went all the way through into the joists because it's 50mm. Um, so those gave me a really good indication of where to actually screw through and put these, these um, uh, screw through and put the buttons in um, uh, because otherwise it's not visible because the insulation is covering it up. Um, so this is my solution and so wherever I've needed to put the cable for the, light, for the lights um, I just threaded it through as normal. Um, and drilled a hole, a 10mm hole, and threaded it through. And then it all goes uh, and collects over at this consumer unit here. We've only got a few lights, so there's only, I've got a few spurs coming out, um, but there's only a few lights in, so uh, we've only got two cables coming out for the lighting in this room. And then I've got the ring main under here coming out from the back of the walls uh, and then we've got a ch I'm not going to do the consumer unit, unit installation myself I'm going to get an electrician to do that because I don't want to spend the time googling how to do it um, I want to get this finished pretty quickly but I thought that I spent quite a lot of time on Google trying to figure out how to get around this issue um, and I thought I'd share it with you um, because on the Celesex website itself it says do not cut into Celesex because uh, it will downrate your insulation and so there's lots of people talking about how to get around this issue and I just thought I'd just serve it straight on a plate for you um, on how I decided to solve it myself um, when it comes to the walls themselves um, and putting the ring main in and those plug sockets that stick out that, that will be recessed into the wall it doesn't matter so much that those are cut into the insulation because all of the moisture Rise all of the moisture for like, like cooking and like um, uh, showering things like that rises to the ceiling. So that's the main issue with um, penetrating the vapor control air uh, and cutting through the insulation. That is solved 
um, by putting insulation tape over, uh, like aluminium foil tape, but uh, you also still have the issue of making sure that these cables stay cool when you are when they're being when all the lights are on. So uh, I've got a nice amount of space here for all of the, the cables to cool down. Um, and so I'm quite happy with this solution. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll have a video up soon when the electrician comes and fits the consumer unit and I'll also then tell you how to do a ring main because there's quite a few videos out there that talk about the schematics of it and how you're supposed to do it like in theory but none have actually showed how to do it in real construction um, context and uh, um, yeah I just thought that would be useful for you guys so Come back and check it out. Click, click subscribe if you want to get a notification for that. Uh, and if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.